I'm going to look in the Swift Carrera 122, again a 2024 model, so brand new out. This one's group price is 71495 It's currently got the £1,500 off. So this model is 6 metres long by 2.26 metres wide. Again, it's in the beautiful grey colour. Brand in there is really, really nice. What I really like about this one is there's a table on the outside. Good, I like that. On the side here as well, you'll also see that you've got your fly screen, which goes across. Moving on into the cab, at the front here, right up above, you've got the skylight, which really does work very well in these vans. It lets loads of light in and it makes the cab feel a lot bigger and brighter. You've also, standard, got your blind and here's your cab area. So I'm sitting in the cab there all on the Fiat. On the doors themselves in the cab area, you've got a really deep pocket down here and you've got a cup holder at the front, which is really good. You've got some little shelvy units to put odds and sods in. You've got your central locking button here. You've got your window switches and you've got your switch for moving your mirrors around. When you look to the centre of the cab area, you've got your vents and you've also got your uh, multimedia centre. You'll see here that this one is a six-speed manual. The range does come in automatic as well, although it is an additional cost for the automatic. You also have on there all your different air conditioning switches and your heater. What I like here, you've got two USBs and you've also got your 12 volt DC socket there. You've got a nice cup holder here too. Two cup holders at the bottom and a little tray in the middle. And on the passenger side on the front again you've got some areas to, to store things and another cup holder there. In the cab area itself it feels quite roomy and I think that's possibly because up above the cab you've got the um, scenic window here and that actually spreads a lot of light into the cab area itself so it does feel as though you've got a lot of room in there. The other thing that I really like in this cab area is the seats. They're in this lovely grey and cream. It's a mixture of the greys uh, uh, either a leather or leatherette and feels really nice and the, the grey colour is a bit like a, a new book type suede. I think it looks really plush and I do like the Carrera branding on there. Looking back over the van, you can see on this one that you've got your kitchen area on the right hand side and your wet room and your fridge on the driver's side. Let's take a look. What I really like about these is on the side here there is actually a table top that's stowed away. How clever is that? That's really clever and it just slots back in and it looks as though it's part of the actual side of the van. What you also have a standard in these ones is a built-in bin. Again I think that's really really good because I don't know about you guys we are an absolute nightmare when it comes to the bin in the van. We normally find just get a carrier bag and end up putting it on the side here. So actually having a built-in bin whilst it's a simple thing makes such a big difference. Let's look at the kitchen. Here's the sink. It's a very deep sink. I can imagine you could fit quite a lot of pots in there, um, which is really, really good because sometimes you find it quite shallow, but that is quite deep. You could fit a lot in. You've got the tap that goes up and down and you've got your two hob burner. Moving above the kitchen area, you've got this huge big cupboard. Look at that fresh water and your wastewater switches. Underneath the kitchen area you can see on the side here you've got your light switches and you've also got a big cupboard here. Let's have a look inside. 
that's really good actually you can see that goes all the way back and you could fit a lot in there you've got your cutlery drawer there. and you've got your oven underneath the oven you've got two big drawers and again they're really really roomy you could fit loads in there to the left hand side of the sink unit you've actually got two plugs and two usbs which are in a really handy place you can put you could sit and put your phones on the side there while you were sat in the back and obviously handy for things like your kettle etc in the kitchen we're just going to move back to the driver's side and you've got your Tometic fridge. And underneath, you've got your big cupboard, big hanging rail there. You can fit a lot in there. On the side of this cupboard, you've got a really useful cupboard here. As you can see, you can store the table in it but it's also got some really cool shelves in you've got three shelves there which go the full depth of the van that's really cool actually I've never seen that before on the van but you could actually fit a lot in there you've then got your wash room you've also got a nifty little coat hook that's on there that's quite handy as well looking at the back of the van here you have got your bench seats on either side on the passenger and the driver's side these will make up into a bed you've got these really 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 handy storage areas you can put magazines papers etc in there you've got your windows which again have got blinds and fly screens you've got the three cupboards at the top again they're really really roomy up on the ceiling there you've got your built-in speakers which are Kenwood and that's so that you can have the radio on in the cab and actually the music can come down into this area at the back. In the underneath here you've got a normal plug socket, TV aerial and you've got your USB chargers and a light switch. I really like this LED lighting underneath it does make it feel a lot plusher. Moving to the back of this model, you've got your two barn doors with the wonderful storage area up above. You can put lots of little knickknacks in there. And again, on these, you've got your blinds, fly screen, and there's your table there. What I really, really like about this van is what that I haven't seen before on them. It has got a fly screen at the back, which is really good. And that goes all the way across and clips in the other side. And that means that you can actually have the fresh air in, but stop the flies in the summer. I like that, that's really good. We'll just take a look from the back of the van to the front. We've got your bench seats either side, three lockers up above, skylight. On the floor there you've got your table fixing point. As you can see when we move through the van you've got your kitchen area on the passenger side. You've got your wet room on the driver's side. Fridge, large cupboard and cab area. So when we first look into the wet room what you'll notice is, is this lovely marble effect on the wall which actually waterproofs it. You've got your shower up above and that's one of the eco ones which means that actually it doesn't use as much water. That's really good. You've got your mirror. Hi Rach. And you've got this really good handy cupboard. It's got a perspex door on it and it's got two little shelves and what I really like there is there's a lip on the shelves so that you can put all your lotions and potions in there and they're safe. You've got your fold down sink 
this is really cool so this is your toilet roll older and with it being a wet room you put your toilet roll in fold that down and actually then your toilet roll won't get wet when you have a shower how good's that you've got your skylight above there's another feature in here that i really like up on the ceiling you've got this metal piece and that actually drops down that would be really really handy for putting your wet towels on or putting some of your your clothes wet coats etc in i like that you've got a really handy towel holder there as well that's good as we all know when it comes to these wet rooms i need to check it out so if you can just bear with while i just try this shower out it's got a really nice tamper door on it oh that slides well as well i'm locked in ah that didn't quite go to plan there's no water in it couldn't take a shower oh i do have to say that the with this being a wet room it has a lot of advantages but also you don't have the shower curtain that i really don't like you just when it gets wet it just sticks to you it actually does feel a lot bigger i think some of the changes with the cabinet being flat against the wall and with the, having the perspex door that makes a big difference and also having the folding down sink that makes a big difference so just small changes but actually makes it feel a lot bigger and a lot better i like the fact as well that the shower is economically friendly so you don't waste as much water and it's the small things isn't it that count you know the the foldy down piece there so that you can actually put your towels or clothes in to dry out actually makes a really big difference well thought through i actually quite like the bathrooms in this range i think that it's quite innovative and made such a difference got the swift carrera 122 here which is similar to the elvis cv20 let's go and have a look and see how they compare first thing is we've got this really handy fold down table on the way in we've also got handy main socket there perfect if you're doing breakfast on a morning we've got the cab and the seats rotate we it's same as the cv20 we can open the fridge both this way if you look inside there and that way so if you fancy a can when you're driving you can grab one out of there and i mean the non-alcoholic ones and obviously don't grab cans out when you're driving. Also has the removable ice box, which you can just remove, pull out and lift out. Also, I don't think you need the travel catch on this fridge. LPG over that side. And then we've got the storage and we've got the full pass here. We've got the pull in and out drawers. You've also got the point for mounting the table. This handy little fold down table just clumps back in like that. Clever. On the window design where we've got these pressing buttons that you have to press in before you can actually lift the catches, that stops the problem there is where people can poke a coat hanger up between the rubber lining and then push the catches open and then ultimately gain access to your vehicle, which isn't good. So clever idea that. I like the fly screen across the back. I also think it's well trimmed inside as well. So it all feels like it's, uh, it's meant to be. I don't think it overly takes away too much room at the back. I know I sleep at this side. I'll have a look in a minute and see how the sizes compare. What I do like is, uh, I looked at the 122 uh, originally and it felt quite closed in. Um, the pinch point seemed quite, I don't know, it just, just felt closed in compared to the CV20. It's a lot better now. I think some of it's the, the kind of brighter material and fabrics, which looks nice, but it doesn't feel like that pinch point anymore. I can't quite work out what's changed, but it feels much better and very well finished. Barbecue point. It's a little bit different. They have the 
uh, hose connector got the touch screen control panel very nice and responsive and got everything you need on I even think you could turn the beep off um, like that and it doesn't beep when you go through it you can do your lighting there your yawning light on and off um, entry lights uh, you've got the dimmer and turn the lights up and down there um, you can see how much power has been drawn the voltage yeah decent like that very good got the uh, switch there turn things on and off and then you've got your whale do like those that you just need to hover over uh, your whale heating This model is probably the closest there is to the CV20. It's very similar. It's got the bed at the back with the bench seats. There are some differences in here that make it feel very different. The window above the cab area really does make a difference. It makes it feel a lot lighter. I do like the wet room. I think not having a shower curtain, that does make a difference. The kitchen area is quite small. But I suppose that depends whether you like to do a lot of cooking or like us, you eat out a lot. I do also think that one of the big differences that it took me a while to notice, but when I did notice it, you can't unnotice it, is actually it feels a lot warmer and a lot cosier and probably a bit more expensive inside. And I think the reason being is in the CV range, it's all just the cream that you've got on the walls. Whereas in this, there's different coloured panelling. So there's the grey fabric, so it's not just plastic, it's fabric. And actually with the different colour panels, you can see you've got grey, cream, grey, and then you go into kind of a wood effect. That actually, it makes it feel a lot warmer. The overhead lockers as well, I think it's quite important to, to point out, these are all really spacious. What I really like is that they feel really solid and that when you click them, they've got quite a satisfying click to them. Also on these, there's the wood effect at the top, which is really nice. You've then got your strip of grey, some chrome, and the, the cream gloss at the bottom. They just feel quite luxurious. I like the curve as well on them. That feels really good. It feels really premium. I like what they've done there. So it is a very nice fan. So a couple of things I'd probably like a little bit different. Uh, I really do like underslung gas tanks, so it's out the way and you're not messing around with bottles. I know some people worry about getting hold of LPG. Personally, I've never had any issue with it. Um, and it keeps it out the way in a good low centre of gravity. And then you've not got your gas bottles in your living space. There's very few options on the van. You can choose to go out automatic. It's about £3,000 extra to take the automatic option. That's the only option that there was available that I could see for these particular models. That's a good thing in one way, uh, because we're not then worrying too much about um, what to choose, what to add on. And it comes with a cracking spec, so you're not really adding to it. So just the auto option. Two leisure batteries as well, and it comes with two 80 amp hour uh, regular ones, not lithium. Uh, but yeah, that's the um, 122 not a bad fan. Now the ultimate test is, can I have it out? In it? it feels shorter than the CV20. So on that ground, I'm afraid this one doesn't work for me, but lovely van, if you're a bit shorter. Join us on Thursday evening where I fit a single and double soap dispenser to the washroom of our eldest CV20 camper van. If you haven't seen the previous video where we begin our search for the ultimate van, check that out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be kept up to date with all our latest videos. Thank you for watching.